Growing up in Canada, I, I knew from a young age also that even though I loved to play hockey, hockey wasn't going to be my sport long term. I have a runner's build, and so uh, body contact in, in the sport of hockey told me very quickly that running was going to be more my thing. <laughs> I've been running recreationally as long as I can remember. I ran my first competitive race when I was 10 years old. The simplicity of running is such a, such a beautiful thing. All I need is just shorts and a t-shirt and a pair of shoes and head out the door. Um, and so you just, it's just sort of you and the elements. I was amazed and blessed that I was able to have a, a running scholarship uh, to come to Liberty, so that's what initially brought me here. I would say in terms of Division I track and cross country, I was an average runner. I was blessed to, to get a scholarship and run on the, on the team at the Division I level, but I wouldn't say that I was a, a real standout athlete. However, when it came to running longer distances, I knew that God uh, really blessed me in that area. I didn't run my first ultra race until about three years after college, and then I, that's when I joined uh, the Patagonia ultra running team. And it was a dream come true to, to get a sponsorship. I never thought in my, in my wildest dreams that I would be a, a sponsored athlete. And just to, to think that through and what that means is a pretty cool thing. It's a, it's a, it, it's a rare thing in life. And so that was a, a real incredible blessing. By definition, ultra running is anything longer than a marathon. So a marathon being 26.2 miles, ultra by definition is anything longer than that. Most races are 50Ks, 100Ks, 50 milers, 100 milers. It was almost like exploring and discovering a brand new sport. Uh, so many years of running track and cross country and road races. Most of ultra running takes place on trails, in challenging environments, uh, trying to really challenge the participants uh, to bring out the best in them. A big part of running ultra marathons in general and specifically 100 milers is the mental component. You know that the fun factor, what we call the fun factor, is going to go away sooner or later. And it's going to be hard work and there's going to be pain and there's going to be suffering. And the question becomes, how, how do you deal with that? How are you going to deal with those components? How are you going to deal with being alone? Maybe running at night in the darkness by yourself. Keep in mind, this is our last class project in class time like this before race day. I direct the graduate program in sport management here at Liberty. We get our students out to do real hands-on type of experience in, in terms of programming activities, event planning and organizing. Some of, the, some of the races that I direct, I actually have my graduate students involved in organizing and operating and executing those, those, those events as well. Every spring we have a 5K uh, event that's focused on raising funds for autism awareness. And it is a charity event in many ways. My son Coleman is autistic, he's 13, and we wanted to bring an event to the area that combined uh, what has been a big part of my life, running, with an opportunity to raise awareness and funds for autism in the area. The diagnosis of autism for, for Coleman, uh, he was 18 months old and he's now 13, and so it's been quite some time. But when we first received that diagnosis of autism, it was, in many ways, it was a, it was a dead end diagnosis. Um, your son's autistic, we're, we're, we're sorry about that, but good luck. We know there's some things out there, but nothing really works. And, you know, that was, that was a hard diagnosis to, to deal with. Our goal there is to really just bring different autism groups together in the area, to see them come, collaborate, have families, get access to these people, get more information, to educate the public about what is autism, and really to raise funds. So we, we partner with the, the student chapter of Autism Speaks at Liberty and we raise funds for that student chapter to be able to go out and make a difference in the community. The trails are a beautiful place for Coleman. God's creation and how he reveals himself in unique ways to every individual through his creation is I think is one of the most important things that has, has continues to stand out to me on a, on a daily basis. <laughs>